2005, Penguin Chat 3 evolves into Club Penguin, and after a successful beta test party, the game officially launches online. 2006, the Penguin Secret Agency is founded, giving Club Penguin players point-and-click adventure missions to go on. 2007, Club Penguin is purchased by the Walt Disney Company, allowing the franchise to grow and create more products. But these three events were just the beginning, all leading up to the release of one legendary game in 2008. This is Club Penguin Elite Penguin Force for the Nintendo DS. Hello everybody, my name is Tofu. Welcome to a series that I have wanted to do on my channel um, pretty much since I created it. Um, this is Club Penguin Elite Penguin Force, Club Penguin's very first DS game. Uh, and this is probably one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, it's definitely one of, if not my favorite things to, to ever come out from Club Penguin in general. Uh, it's it's a very special game to me, and I want to show it off to everyone, and I want everyone to see absolutely everything in this game, and I mean everything. This is a 100% playthrough, um, and you know we're even going to go beyond 100% because the game really doesn't have you know the highest requirements for what the game considers to be 100%. But I am going to show off everything, and I'm going to talk about everything. Um, so if you have played this game before. Uh, you might learn a few things about this game from this. I might learn a few things about this game from this as well. Um, and if you haven't seen this game at all before, um, welcome to the world of Elite Penguin Force. It is a great game. It's very charming. I love it so much, um, and I've been rambling for too much about it already. So let's just go ahead and hit start and begin our adventure. And here we are prompted immediately to uh, create our penguin avatar. Um, and originally what I was going to do is I was just going to be light blue and I was just going to be agent, um, you know, but I, you know, I was like, that's a little boring and that's probably what people would expect me to do. So what I did instead, uh, is I decided, uh, we're going to make our own penguin character here. Um, and so I asked people on Instagram to, uh, to choose a color and um, most people just picked light blue anyways. Um, so I probably should have should have omitted that from the options. Um, light blue got 25 votes uh, and tied with light blue was pink. Pink got uh, 25 votes as well. Not to be confused with peach. This is peach, this is pink. Glad we had that talk. Um, anyways, there was one color, however, that uh, beat out both light blue and pink. And that color uh, was purple. Purple got 29 votes, uh, so we are going to be a purple penguin in our in our uh, adventure here. Um, and I also asked people to uh, suggest a name for our penguin as well. And uh, you know there are a lot of a lot of great great names uh, like Schwingus, Gay, Chicken, Pee Pee Poo Poo, Shart, Noob Lord 69. You know all great names. Um, but uh, there were two names, there were two names that, um, that got uh, suggested for twice by, by two different people, which I guess is actually four different people because there were two names. Um, so I mean, majority vote rules, so uh, we're gonna go with those two names. Um, those two names were Goose and Super Mario. Um, I don't know why collectively four different people both chose two of those names, but those were the only names that got multiple uh, votes. Um, so we're going to go with Goose and Super Mario, uh, but obviously those are two different names, so we're going to have to combine them, um, and I have decided that um, we're going to combine them by naming our penguin Super Goose. Super Goose. Uh, and I really like this name because it just kind of like 
reminds me of what a kid like, would name their Club Penguin username. So we're gonna be Super Goose, the Purple Penguin, or, or are they a goose? Are they a goose or are they a penguin? The world may never know. Um, but here we have Super Goose. Uh, we start with 100 coins and we'll get into what coins do. Um, we can continue at 0%. We also have the option to uh, start a guest file, and what that does is it essentially just, um, you play as a nameless penguin, uh, and you can't save your progress. So like, if you brought your DS over to a friend's house, um, and they could just play with that, uh, and you would still keep your own save data. Um, or you can just erase your penguin, but that would be kind of pointless because we haven't done anything yet. Um, so we're just gonna continue here, and here is the main menu where we are greeted with Four, or I guess technically five. Well, if you want to be really technical, there's six options. We have mission mode. That is the main mode of the game, is where we will be spending most of our time. Uh, multiplayer, which um, is kind of hard to show off because I am playing this on a totally real Nintendo DS, so uh, that will be tricky to show off, and I, I really can't show it off, but I will be talking about it. Um, next, we have the mini game mode. Uh, we're going to be encountering quite a few mini games during our adventure, um, and this is where we can just play them freely. Uh, and then we have upload and download, and this is uh, a very interesting, uh, interesting part of the game that we can't really access because it relies on two services that no longer exist. So that's sad. We also have the option to to view the credits, um, which I'm not going to do right now, and that and that arrow will just take us back to the title screen. Um, so for now, let's just go into mission mode and begin the story mode. Drag your stylus to move around and explore. Um, okay, well let's do that. Um, they said to move around and explore, not, not talk to old ladies, so uh, I'm kind of out of here. Let's go, uh, let's just keep exploring, you know, you know, oh, there's a clock, who knows what we'll find, just, just exploring. Oh, well there's a guy here. Welcome to the plaza. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm looking for some games to play. Can you tell me where to go? Games? Uh, let's see. You can go snowboarding at Ski Hill or ice fishing at the Ski Lodge. There's also dancing at the nightclub and jetpacks at top of the lighthouse. There is also cart surfing down at the mine. How do I get to the mine again? That's easy. Just take the underground passage in front of the pet shop and keep going right. Well, thank you. Um, we can ask him a few more things. Is there a town notice board I can look at? Read about upcoming events in the Club Penguin Times. They sometimes have a copy at the coffee shop. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. And the last option, uh, oh, just thank you, I know where to go. You're welcome, come back at any time. So I didn't know this this guy was here for the, for the longest time, um, because you're really just expected to talk to that, that other penguin in the town. Um, you're not really supposed to go over here at all. Um, so I didn't know this guy was here until I started researching for this series, so I just thought I'd show off that little bit of dialogue, but, um, if you're confused on what these locations are, um, then I assume you have never played Club Penguin before. Um, this is, Club Penguin is an island, it's a very small island with just a couple locations, and we're gonna be exploring them a lot in our adventure. We were just at the plaza, as that tour guide said. This is the snow forts, as you can see, by the snow forts. Uh, we have an ice rink here. Um, it's exactly what you would expect. And then going back to where we started our adventure, this is the town center. Um, it was pretty much like the central hub of the original Club Penguin game. Um, we've got the coffee shop here, the nightclub, and a gift shop. And we also have someone to talk to, so let's go ahead and finally talk to her. What a nice day. This Arctic weather is just marvelous. You look familiar. Aren't you the editor of the Club Penguin Times? That's me, but please call me Antarctic. Can you tell me if there are any special events going on? If news is what you're after, you should read the Club Penguin Times. Can you tell me where I can find a copy? Well, we know where to find a copy, the tour guide told us. But she'll tell us as well. Of course, there is a copy uh, of this week's paper inside the coffee shop. Well, thank you. Today would be a nice day to go for a leisurely waddle. Uh, and we have the same uh, options. But uh, if you talk to a penguin twice, uh, they will usually have uh, some more dialogue to say. Um, so here we are in the coffee shop. Let's talk to the barista here. Welcome to the coffee shop. Feel free to relax and unwind. 
you say anything else? You don't need to drink coffee to enjoy the shop's music and comfortable seating. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and look around the coffee shop here. We can look around any room by just moving our stylus around the touchscreen, or in my case, moving my mouse across my totally real Nintendo DS. Um, and these rooms have some uh, items that we can click on. Um, I will be calling them clickables throughout the game. Um, let's start with this coffee mug here. So yeah, um, really simple. They usually just have a short little animation that plays. Um, and some of them you will get a coin for, uh, for checking them out. I do plan on showing off uh, all the clickables in the game. There might be some that I missed, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find all of them. We also got this lamp here that we can turn on and off. No coin from that, though. Uh, we have this painting, which we can change the uh, picture on it. Uh, I like this one. We've got the mustard, ketchup, and uh, vanishing napkins. Because they just... They go on the floor and then they go into the void. You can also click on this trash can and fill it up. And also empty it, but uh, no coin from that either. We've got a door here that we can't go into. Can't go in there. Employees only. Uh, we have another room upstairs, and from the sign, we can see that that is the book room. Um, and yeah, as you can see, there are sure are books here in this book room. We've also got a guy in here, so let's talk to them. So many books, yet so little time. If we talk to them again, I've been looking everywhere for the yearbook, but I can't find it. So they are referring to the Club Penguin yearbook, which uh, came out at the end of every year in the original game, um, and pretty much just recounted like all the events from that year. This game has a lot of references to um, pretty much just any aspect that you could think of from the original Club Penguin, and it may be obvious to point uh, some of them out, but I think they're really interesting little Easter eggs, so I'll be pointing out as many of those little details as I can. Back downstairs though, let's just go ahead and finally look at this newspaper here, which everyone has been talking to us about. Well, I guess the barista and, you know, the guy upstairs really didn't. But the tour guide and Antarctic were all talking about the newspaper, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's a copy of the Club Penguin Times. I think I'll take a break to read the newspaper. And what's in the news? Oh my god, Antarctic is blue! Um, so this newspaper is pretty interesting because, um, I mean, it is a reference to the newspaper in the original Club Penguin. Every week a new newspaper would come out and would tell you about the things happening in the game. Um, but this newspaper that we are looking at does not actually exist in the original game. It was not a real newspaper. Um, however, it does use art from two different newspapers. Um, it uses art from issue 82 and issue 102. Um, so that's a little weird. The date is a little blurry because of the DS, but it appears to be in May, and that does line up with uh, issue 82, because that was released on May 10th, 2007. However, it very clearly says Club Penguin Times, and if this is issue 82, that is not possible because the newspaper was actually just called The Penguin Times before it was rebranded to The Club Penguin Times, uh, starting at issue 100. So that would line up if this is issue 102, but that was released in September, and I really don't think that date says September. But also this, this newspaper does not exist otherwise, so I really don't think we should worry about it too much. Uh, whoa, that's a puffle. It's a blue puffle. What is it bouncing on its head? It looks like it's for me. How do you know it's for you? Super Goose, why do you think it's for you? It looks like some kind of riddle, signed by someone named D. And, um, yeah, I don't know who D is, but whoever they are, they are really good at printing out animated GIFs on paper. Um, and now this Puffle is just following me, so... That's a little weird, but, uh, let's talk to this barista here and see what they have to say. You look a bit puzzled. Can I help you? Do you know who this blue puffle belongs to? No, I haven't seen it before. I thought it was yours. Could you take a look at this postcard the Puffle gave me? Sure, pass it to me and I'll be happy to take a look. To give the postcard, select it from the inventory panel below and then touch the penguin. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, this is our inventory here. Uh, as you can see, 
the note we got has gone into our inventory and we can take it out and move it around the screen. Uh, and I also will show off this suitcase here. If we click on that, we will be taken to our player inventory. And this will have our clothing items, um, but unfortunately we are naked right now, so there's nothing in there. Let's just go ahead and show this note to the barista. Looks to me like directions, or maybe a riddle. First clue is snow, and then a castle. I think you may have better luck outside. Thanks for the help. No problem. Well, alright. Let's go ahead and ask, um... Where did Anarda go? What the heck? Where'd she go? Well, that's... That's just a bit rude. Oh, but there's someone else here. Hello. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20... Wait, uh, uh-oh. Excuse me, are you missing a blue puffle? I don't think so. Mine was red last time I checked. I found a postcard, but it seems to be a riddle. Can you help me solve it? If you show it to me, I'll see if I can help. Sorry, didn't make the make you lose count. No worries. Uh, one, two, three, um, thirteen. Which one did I leave off on? Uh, sorry, didn't make you lose count. All right. Uh, let's show them. The castle shape on this postcard reminds me of a fort, like like a snow fort. Oh, hey, yeah, we saw those. It's it's literally right over there. Uh, so we should go over there. But first, I want to uh, check this out. At the gift shop, penguins can buy cool gear to wear. It's too bad it's closed right now. Um, so yeah, during missions, um, certain areas will be locked off to us, pretty much just to point you in the right direction, um, so you're not just wasting your time looking at every room. Uh, before we go to the snow forts, though, I want to go over here. Talk to this person here. Hello, the ocean is very peaceful today, and watery. Do you happen to own this blue puffle? I'm sorry, but I don't own any puffles. Is this the only dock in the area? Yes, as far as I know, this is the only one we have. Yeah, the ocean is very peaceful and watery, I guess. Just go with the flow. The sea is so calming and watery. Yes, it is very watery. Um, they are a strange penguin. Um, this is the ski village. And that was the dock, by the way. I didn't say it, but it, it's just a dock. Um, this is the ski village. It is... It gives you access to the Ski Hill and Ski Lodge, which is locked right now, as is the Sports Shop. Uh, but the, me the real reason I wanted to come here is because there's a little clickable thing there. You can click on the inner tubes and they will bounce. And they also kind of clip through the doors. Very strange inner tubes. Uh, I also wanted to show that if we try to go into the Sports Shop, we say, I don't have time to shop right now. Um, so the gift shop was closed, but I guess we had full intention to go in there. Uh, we don't have time to shop at the sports shop, though, so... I don't know what Super Goose has against the sports shop, but... Um, here we are at the beach, and this has the lighthouse, which is also locked. Can't do anything there. But I also want to come here to show that we can click on this guy, who is sleeping. And I guess they give us money um, to make us go away and not bother them. I mean, that's a pretty good deal to me. Um, as for what else is at the dock, literally nothing. It's it's just the dock. So let's just go ahead and finally go to the snow forts. The snow forts. This must be the place the riddle was describing. Maybe the owner of the blue puffle is around here somewhere. Maybe it's this suspicious snowman here. This snowman looks kind of strange. Wait, did it just give me a funny look? No, it couldn't have. Wait, it's holding something. And it moved its arm. A pet, a play, and a pizza. Another riddle. Another gif on paper. Um, was this snowman pointing to the right earlier? I can't remember. I don't know, maybe we'll find a clue at the stadium, which um, the snowman is not pointing at. Hockey is fun. Almost as fun as solving mysteries. Alright, there's some Super Goose lore. Uh, Super Goose likes hockey. Um, but how do they feel about this guy? The wind blew my favorite hat away. If only I were 16 feet taller. Is there anything I can do to help? Can you help me get my hat? It's not very useful up there. I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know. That guy seems kind of weird. Let's just... It would be good to help that penguin before leaving. Fine, Super Goose. All right. If only I could get my hat back. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Um, well, what can we do? The hat is stuck on the clock's gear. It's too high for me to reach. Well, 
Maybe the blue puffle can help me. But, but it's shorter than me. It's like, I mean, look at this. It's so small. How could it get up there? Oh, you've got some snowballs. Well, you could throw them at this guy. No, you don't want to throw it at this guy, but th then we can just get away. Uh, all right, well, let's talk to them again. Can you find a way to get it off the target? I'll see what I can do. Well, no, I, I can't get it off the target because your hat is, is on a gear. It's not really on the target, uh, but we can throw snowballs at the target. So let's go ahead and do that. And hey, there we go. Your puffle knocked my hat down. How did you teach it to do that? Well, it's not my puffle. I don't even know where it came from. Well, I don't know what I would have done without you. Now, would you mind bringing the hat to me? Um, yeah, sure. It's right there. I can do that. That would be so awesome. <laughs> Let's just look at you like, come on. It's amazing how you knocked down the hat. Kapow. I, I don't know. It's amusing to me. Um, let's pick up this hat. It looks like this wasn't the first snowball fight this hat was in. All right. Well, let's, um... Hey, you could kind of wear this if you bounce up to it. I mean, you're making it kind of hard, but yeah, there you go. Um, there you go. You can have your hat. For your bravery, I give you these glasses. Wear them proudly. This is the best disguise ever. It will go in my suitcase. Um... No, that disguise kind of sucks. This hat is my favorite. It was the first one I ever got. Do you know who made that snowman over there? No, that snowman is kind of weird, actually. Do you know anyone named D? I've never heard of anyone named D. I would remember a name like that. That's too bad. I keep finding these postcards signed by someone named D. If you show them to me, I can try to help. Thank you, I'll keep that in mind. You're welcome. And, uh, wow. Yeah, your hat sure is on your head, dude. Um, but yeah, uh, so they gave us a disguise glasses, I guess. Um, and if we go into our inventory, we can actually put those on. So, uh, I guess we'll do that. Uh, and they wanted us to show them the note we found, so let's go ahead and do that. A pet, a play, and a pizza. Those sound like things you can find at the plaza. And, sure, we'll show you the, the other note, too. Is this the riddle that led you here? Um, yeah. Uh, they said, I love wearing this hat so much. All right, well, we should head over to the plaza, but... Um... Where'd the snowman go? Well, now I'm really terrified, so let's just go to the plaza anyway. Um... And hey... This mailbox wasn't here before. Did the tour guide turn into the mailbox? That's suspicious. Let's check it out. That's odd. The plaza doesn't usually have a mailbox. It must be a new addition. There is something stuck in the mail slot. Yeah, eyeballs. This one says, A long walk to a short dock yields great re great rewards. Bleh. Alright, well, I wonder what that could mean. Maybe you can tell me about it. A long walk to a short dock yields great rewards. Hmm, ducks aren't very useful this far from shore. Uh, oh, they actually something else. Hi there, do you have any luck finding D? Uh, not at all, but I noticed the snowman is missing. It is? Oh, wow. Where did it go? Over the hills of snow? Uh, no, but I did find another strange postcard. You could show me the postcard if you'd like. I did. Maybe D is the owner of this puffle, but I'm not sure. Hmm, I'd say definitely maybe. Well, you're very helpful. Um, oh, you're still here. Why don't we show you some of our... some of our papers. Uh, a long walk to a short dog yields great rewards. Perhaps it's talking about the duck that's further ahead. Well, that would sure make sense. What do you have to say about this one? A pet, a play, and a pizza. Three words that start with P, like plaza or pineapple. Thank you. Uh, I guess I could show you the first one, too. It looks like it looks a lot like a fort of snow. Maybe someone it's in the snow forts knows more. Thank you, coin counting penguin. Um, we can talk to the barista as well. Um, we already showed them the first note, so let's show them the other two. This one is tricky. Perhaps you should ask someone else about it. That was... That was the key. <laughs> this was the clue to go to the plaza, which is probably the most obvious one. Um, I don't know. I guess the barista spends most of their time in the town. This postcard is much easier. I think it is referring to the docks. Well, I'm glad you figured that one out. 
Um, so let's go back to the ducks and talk to this penguin who is obsessed with watery things. Um, yeah, let's just show you some of our notes. That seems to be a riddle about snow and something. It's hard to make out the drawing on the back of this postcard. Some sort of puzzle. That is really not helpful, but maybe you'll have something to say about this one. It's definitely talking about a dock here. Alright, so you had really nothing to contribute, but hey! These weren't here before, and neither were those eyeballs! What's this? It's another riddle postcard. It's probably from the mysterious D. And let's take it. The world is in your hands. If only you had the light to see. Um, that is the wrong C. D. What would happen if I put all the postcards together? Ah, so here we are prompted with a little mini game of sorts. Not like the mini games that we saw in the menu. Well, we didn't really see them, but we saw that we could play mini games later. Um, this is more of a micro game of sorts. Uh, just a quick little puzzle. Uh, what we have to do is just rotate the pieces until they fit into place. So let's go ahead and do that. They've got some mysterious symbols on them. I wonder what those mean. Um, but that is what we will do. Uh, the pieces combine to make a drawing. It looks like a trail to the lighthouse. Um, okay. Cool. Uh, do you have anything to say about this? The lighthouse in this drawing is at the beach. I'm sure of it. Well, how, did, how could you have possibly known that? How could you have possibly known that the lighthouse was... Okay. Um, before we go there, let's go back and see what our other friends have to say about this map. Cool drawing of the lighthouse! Um, thanks, I made it myself. Yep, definitely. Um, what about you? Sweet! The postcards were a drawing of the lighthouse. Did you go there yet? Um, no. How about you, friend? Um, what do you have to say? The drawing looks like a lighthouse! Um, okay. Well, you are all very helpful. Okay, let's actually go to the lighthouse and see what's there. The beach looks normal. Maybe I should check the lighthouse? Hey, wasn't this locked earlier? I actually don't remember. I think I checked that, but, um... This guy's still sleeping. Can we show them the note? Nope. They... They are just completely zoned out. And I cannot put this back... Oh, there we go. Ah, no! Blue puffle that I have never seen before. Stop throwing snowballs. Let's go in the lighthouse. I wonder if anyone is here. Wow, there's lots of interesting stuff to look at. There sure is. We've got three more clickables in here. First, we've got the drum set. That will give us a coin. The piano. And the guitar. Those are all give us coins. Very silly things to do. Um, yeah, this is the lighthouse. Got a lot of random stuff in it up here. Uh, it will take us to the beacon of the lighthouse, but we should search downstairs first. Um... But what else is there to possibly look at? I mean, certainly this barrel can't be suspicious. I mean, look how many other barrels there are in here. This is totally normal. Although I guess I don't think barrels have eyeballs, so maybe we should check it out. Who would leave a barrel in the middle of the room? You know what? You're right, Super Goose. All the other barrels are against the wall. This is pretty weird. You did it! You found me! Ah! Did what? What in the world are you doing? Oh, sorry. I got a little excited there. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Dot, but you can call me... Wait, let me guess. I can call you D? Yes, and the blue puffle you met is named Bouncer. It's nice to meet you, Super Goose. Wait, how do you know my name? What is this all about? Oh, we know a lot about you, Super Goose. We've been watching you for some time and decided to give you a little test. My full name is Dot the Disguise Gal. Wow, that is a very strange last name. Um, and I belong to an elite group of agents you've never heard of. Very special. Very hush-hush. But everyone has heard of the Penguin secret agents. They watch over Club Penguin. They're pretty important. Actually, this is a different special group. It's called the Elite Penguin Force, or EPF for short. The PSA does do a great job keeping Club Penguin safe, but the EPF is organized for top secret operations most PSA agents don't even know about. Wow, nice. That sounds like an awesome job. Yes, and we think you'd be perfect for it. In fact, you've already passed the first test. The riddles were a test? Will there be more tests? That's up to you. Joining the EPF is a big responsibility. 
Think it over, and if you decide to join, meet me at the location I've marked on this map. It's a Club Penguin map! Most people get these as soon as they make their account, but I guess Super Goose didn't. Um, will you consider our offer? What's to consider? I'm ready to join the EPF right now, or I need some time to think about it. Nah, I, I know. Nothing left to consider, let's join. That's excellent, Super Goose. Go to the location marked on your map when you're ready to begin your training. Thank you, D. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. Saving game data! That will come up whenever we complete a mission. Wow, a chance to join the Elite Penguin Force. Helping others, solving mysteries and puzzles. How exciting! Helping keep Club Penguin a fun and happy place would be the perfect adventure. It sure would! So, that was our first main mission uh, that we have just completed. Um, but we are not quite done with this episode here. If you go ahead and look at our map, we can see uh, that Dot has actually marked our map uh, to go to these mountains over here. And that is where we should go to continue our training. Uh, but, if you go ahead and look at the uh, map, uh, well, if you look at the map itself, you can see there are some exclamation points here. Uh, you can also see that on the top screen, it's marked with a little flag. Uh, the blue flag marks where you are. Um, but yeah, these little exclamation points on the map have also appeared. And those indicate that there is a side mission available to do. There are not a lot of side missions, but there are enough um, that I would like to do one main mission and one side mission per episode. Um, so the mission we just did was a main mission. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and do one of these side missions. And I'm going to go ahead and do the one in the ski village. Yes, the ski village. That's, I don't know why I started so long with that sentence, but whatever. We're going to do the one in the ski village. So let's go ahead and click there and go there. Um, that walking animation will only play if you are in close proximity to a location. So like the ski village connects to the dock, so it will play there. Dock connects to the town, so it will go there. But if we go from, say, the town to the plaza, we'll just instantly go there. Um, so I kind of like to avoid the walking animation if you can. I mean, you can skip it if you just go, like, you just click immediately. But uh, the map kind of moves as you do it, so it's a little hard. I don't know what I'm saying, really. I just wanted to point that out. Anyways, we can see this construction worker is here, who totally does not have a name. Um, so let's talk to him. Okay, seriously? Where's my wrench? Oh, come on, I had it a minute ago. Uh, do you need help? Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Um, I need to fix this chairlift, but I somehow managed to lose my wrench. Can you use a jackhammer instead? Jackhammer? Hmm, I don't think so. Only my wrench will do. I'd be willing to help you find your wrench. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. And here we go, this is our first side mission. A wrench in the works. Help the construction worker find his lost wrench. Let's go ahead and start the mission. And now we are over here, away from the construction worker. Who totally does not have a name. It is really nice of you to help me. Losing this wrench sure put a wrench in my maintenance plans. Haha. <laughs> Where do you usually keep it? I always keep it in my toolbox, and I don't remember moving it for any reason. When did you last use your toolbox? Well, it's been a busy day. I used it in the boiler room, at the town clock, and at the dock. Did you check those places to see if it was there? I did, but still no sign of it. This is so frustrating. Don't worry, it'll turn up. I hope you're right. Alright, well, he said the boiler room, the town clock, or the dock. The dock is right here, so let's go ahead and look around here. Um, oh yeah, these inner tubes are clickable as well. We cannot interact with them, though, um because Dot was hiding in them at one point during that first mission, but now we can click on them and get a coin. Um, well, the first time we click on it, after that, you won't get a coin. Um, so yeah, we got a coin, but um, no wrench, so we shall check elsewhere. Next he said the town clock, which is a little confusing, um, because this is the town. Um, there's no clock here. Obviously, we saw the clock is in the snow forts. I mean, I guess... It's not really wrong to say town clock because it's in close proximity, but I just feel like that would be confusing for new players. Either way, there's clearly no wrench here either. So that leaves the boiler room, which we have not been to yet. Um, and I can tell you that a way to get to the boiler room is 
by going in here to the nightclub, which has very loud and obnoxious music. We've got some penguins in here. Uh, we can't talk to them. Would you like to take a dance challenge? Um, not right now. That will start a mini game. Uh, but I don't really want to do that right now. Talk to the DJ. Feeling the rhythm. Now watch me spin some tunes. Um, thank you, sir. This is not the boiler room, but we can go upstairs to the lounge as well. Got some arcade machines that we cannot play. Uh, some nice tables and uh, a guy. Someone told me that if I stand here for 30 minutes, I'd become a ninja. Do you think that's true? Um, no, but that was a long running rumor um, before ninjas were properly implemented into Club Penguin. There was a ninja that, or, or there was a ninja. There was a rumor that if you stood still, not really in this room, I don't remember any rumor about that in, in this room, um, but if you stood still in the dojo for 30 minutes, people said that you would become a ninja. Obviously that wasn't true, but it was a, a, a myth. Anyways, to get to the boiler room, all you have to do is go through this hidden passageway in the speaker of all things. It's, it's very strange. Um, and there's another guy down here. Boiler room is cozy and warm, I guess. Most penguins come down here to read back issues of the newspaper. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, these drawers here uh, contain the archive of the newspaper. We can't actually read them here, though. Um, oh! There's a wrench! There's the wrench! I found the, the, the unnamed construction worker's missing wrench. Well, let's click on it. Uh, I can't... I can't click on it. I can't click on it. It's not. <sighs> yeah, that's um, that's not the right wrench. That is the wrong wrench. Um, I don't know why that they they chose when choosing like three wrong options of where the wrench could be. They chose a location that has a wrench as part of the background because that that confused and infuriated me when I was a kid. Um, and, you know, it's also infuriating because none of the other two options were correct as well. Um, so this is something that I actually did not know for a long time um, when I was a kid. Actually, I didn't actually know this was a thing until I started researching for this series. Um, but if you talk to this guy again, I'm not getting much work done without my wrench. I'm still looking, I promise. I know, thanks for taking time off to help me with this. So I was really confused because I was like, there's nothing pointing me to the correct room. And eventually what I did as a kid is I just I just searched every room until I found the wrench. Um, but what I didn't know is that there is actually another clue here that points you in the right direction. Um, and to do that, you have to click on his thermos. That's my thermos. Did you want some coffee? I got it fresh from the coffee shop this morning. No thanks, I don't drink coffee. Yeah, okay then. So yeah, he went to the coffee shop and he did not tell that to us. So, we've got to go to the coffee shop. Let's go inside and see if the barista knows anything. How about a fresh cup of coffee, my friend? Uh, no thanks. I'm trying to find something for a friend. What's that? Maybe I can help. The construction worker who doesn't have a name uh, lost his wrench and I'm searching all over for it. Oh, the construction worker who doesn't have a name was here early this morning. He sat on the couch while I brewed some coffee for him. Hmm, the couch, you say? Hope you find what you're looking for. Well, can't check this couch. How about this one? Aha, we can't click on it. Something seems to have fallen between the cushions. One more pull and it should be out. The missing wrench was found. Imagine that. Well, it was in the couch. Let's go and show that unnamed construction worker that we got his wrench back. Actually, does he have anything to say? Um... Oh, it actually kind of resets his dialogue. Uh, oh, I don't think I clicked on this one. What does it look like? It's silver and has my name written on the side, but you're an unnamed construction worker. I didn't see a name on that wrench, though I guess that makes sense because you are completely and totally unnamed, so um, it would make sense that, you know, your name being on the side would mean that there is no name on the sign because you don't have a name. Um, but here's your wrench. My wrench? Where did you find it? It was tucked in between the couch cushions at the coffee shop. Really? Now how on earth did it end up there? Did you use your tools at the coffee shop? No, but, but I did open my toolbox to get my coins out. You carry your coins in your toolbox? Where else would I put them? I don't have any pockets. 
Well, anyway, I'm glad you got your wrench back. Yes, thank you so much. I have this as a token of my appreciation. It's a brand new safety vest. Someone is sure to stand out wearing one of these. Yeah, that totally unnamed construction worker sure does. The unnamed construction worker got his favorite wrench back, and you got a reward. Helping others is fun. Uh, alright, so we cleared that side mission. Um, and let's go ahead and put on that vest that we got. You look great, Super Goose. You look... You look just like a Super Goose. Aw, <laughs> your little penguin waves on the map if you stand idle. Oh, that's cute. Um, but anyways... That was one main mission and one side mission, so that is going to do it for this first episode. Um, next time, we will head over to these mysterious mountains and continue our EPF training. So, until next time, waddle on.